Hey, welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is Wicked Sources, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. I'm your host, Mike. Every week, I bring you news info that can affect you, and along the way, I share alternative products that can bring a little comfort to your life. So, welcome back to another episode. This segment is called Know Your Cannabis. I cover many issues on this channel, but this segment is all about cannabis. So, if you find value in this, and in what I'm sharing, smash the like for the algos. Subscribe if you want more videos like this one. Today's episode will cover several key issues in the ever-changing landscape of the cannabis world. So, you may remember the PACT Act. It was designed to reduce teen use of nicotine products, specifically vapes. But we'll talk about its impact on the cannabis market and its users as well. Another particular data point here is that... Right now, in certain parts of the country, it is showing that teen use of cannabis products are increasing at a dramatic rate. And we'll read more into this article, and I'll share with you guys these data points. Then we have Biden's pick uh, for FDA commissioner, who has admitted that he has prescribed cannabinoid medicine to his patients as a doctor. And uh, I'm particularly curious as to why he did that and when he did that when when did he decide that these things were useful um and you know what state did he operate out of specifically then we have a video that is suggesting that veterans are being denied access to cannabis for medical purposes and that the government is not doing enough for research and funding towards the end of this video We'll do something fun. I'll show you guys how to build a gravity bong with household items. Stick around. Let's have some fun. All right. So the PACT Act. I've talked about this in other episodes before. In fact, I received a letter today from my state agency saying that my PACT Act account has been closed after uh, being reviewed. For what reason? I have no idea. It does not say. But... The PACT Act was designed to reduce teen use of ENDS, um, their delivery nicotine systems. There's been a problem with teen use across the country for a number of years. This is one of the things that were supposed to help reduce that use. And the numbers have been dropping, I mean exponentially. The, um, the numbers have dropped by 50% according to the data that's being uh, produced or shown to the public anyways. Um, but it goes so much deeper than that. The PACT Act, when they wrote it, was many, many pages, hundreds of pages, and uh, it did not differentiate the difference between uh, vape products. If it's a vape product, it falls into this category, and uh, it cannot be shipped. It cannot. Uh, we can't use typical carriers like UPS, USPS to ship these products. Um, it's a. It's been a blanket on all vape products, including cannabis. So this is why I wanted to talk about this. I was hoping at some point that lawmakers would come together, realize like, okay, this isn't making sense, and it's um, really hurting the cannabis industry, which they are really desperate to tax the shit out of. So I'm waiting for that time to come. It has not arrived yet. Um, they haven't reviewed these, um, these pages, and it really desperately needs um, a revision. It has basically destroyed the vape market in terms of dab vapes, flower vapes, um, cartridge battery vapes, um, CBD vapes. We can't ship any of these things. In fact, even from... Uh, from suppliers to retailers, there's an issue there as well, where suppliers can no longer ship across state lines, and they have to find a different shipping carrier to send them if they can find any at all. It is a real pain in the ass to deal with. Um, furthermore, you may have noticed yourself if you've been trying to buy a flower vape or a dab vape, it's very difficult to get your hands on depending on the state you're in plus you're being taxed for that product because of these nicotine tobacco laws it's not fair and it doesn't make sense i don't know i don't know what to tell you guys but 
that is an update on this PACT Act uh, situation. It is not a great law. I understand what they're trying to do, but it hasn't been helpful. It has really, really destroyed um, multiple facets of industry, not just the vape industry for nicotine use, but as I had mentioned, it has also greatly affected and impacted the cannabis industry as well. So let's move on. So this story about Biden's pick for the FDA commissioner says he had prescribed cannabinoid drugs as a doctor and has spoken about the need to expand research on the therapeutic benefits of marijuana and its components, or its cannabinoids. In quotes, he is saying, we know we need to facilitate the work of companies interested in appropriately bringing safe, effective, and quality products to market. The DEA is again significantly boosting 2021 legal production quotas for psychedelics like psilocybin, MDMA, and DMT to be used in research, on top of separate increases recently proposed for 2022. That is huge. I've said it many times, huge proponent of psilocybin. It's changed my life. I've used it for years. And when I started using it and I started seeing positive results, um, something compelled me to make videos. So I started making videos about it and sharing it with the world. Uh, to date, it's reached thousands of people. Um, and um, the feedback was so positive. I'm just grateful that I put it out there. Many people have learned so much. Uh, MDMA, there's a lot of research uh, that's been going on on that. Uh, the DMT is something new. I have done DMT on several occasions. It's an incredible experience. But let's continue. The bipartisan duo of Ohio senators filed a bill to massively expand the state's medicinal marijuana program by following, sorry, by allowing any patient who could reasonably be expected to benefit from cannabis to qualify regardless of specific medical conditions. On a federal level, more details emerged about the DEA's seizures of cash being transported from Missouri medical cannabis dispensaries. Then we have Elizabeth Warren Democrat of Massachusetts tweeted, Our country's senseless cannabis laws have devastated black and brown communities and uh, are calling on President Biden to start righting this wrong and issue a blanket pardon, as I have mentioned in the previous video. Uh, we'll see where that leads to. So there's a lot going on here. It's great that there's an acknowledgement that there is medical use, but like, I mean, we've known this for a while. This is why states had been um, passing medical laws for over 20 years now. We know there's medicinal applications. So let's stop beating around the bush and provide the funding so that research can expand, so that we can find out more, we can learn more, we can share more, and overall improve the quality of lives of many people. Before I continue any further, I'm going to take a quick break, have some water, collect my thoughts. And then we'll continue with the next half. Anchor.fm. If you've ever wondered about starting a podcast, now is the best time. Anchor.fm allows you to record, add music, transitions, and so much more. They'll even help you distribute your podcast to multiple platforms, all automatically. Anchor.fm. Try it today. Today's episode is partly sponsored by Accept All CBD. All Accept All products are built on the groundbreaking two-site technology that has been successfully applied to cannabidiol molecule, producing the next generation of CBD. By combining CBD with a water-soluble absorption enhancer, the CBD gains significant advantages over traditional CBD such as a minimum of 300% improved absorption, faster onset of effects, and dramatically increased shelf life. You can find Accept All CBD at the wickedsources.com website, wickedsources.com. If you use the coupon code at checkout, PAINRELIEF15, you can save 15% off your entire Accept All purchase. So next up is this video 
talking about how veterans just don't have the access to cannabis depending on the state they're in and then um of course the acknowledgement that there's not enough research so we know that they're trying to push for more research and in this video they're saying well the you know veterans aren't getting the help they need so let's see what this is talking about failed war in afghanistan to a heartless dismissal of cannabis research the federal government continues to abandon its veterans veteran groups far and wide like the american legion overwhelmingly endorse cannabis research so VA doctors can understand and legally prescribe marijuana to forgotten warriors who suffer from everything from PTSD to insomnia and chronic pain. In 2017, the National Academy of Medicine announced they'd poured over 10,000 research papers and abstracts and concluded there is clear evidence cannabis can treat chronic pain, MS symptoms, as well as nausea from chemo, yet the VA has decided there is no medical benefit to MJ, so why bother looking into it? The VA and DOJ work hand in hand recoiling from any meaningful research because the plant is a Schedule One substance that has no medical benefit. So no medical benefit, according to the VA. Can we do this to our men and women in service who give up so much? It's unbelievable. They need this. It can help them. We should provide it. Let's stop the nonsense behind the political aspects of cannabis and just get people what they need so that they can improve the quality of their lives, so that they can begin to feel better. It is baffling, but that's politics for you. Then, then we have this next story here. More teens are vaping cannabis. Experts say New Jersey must send a warning message now. The number of teens in America and Canada who vape weed has doubled in recent years, and there is evidence they prefer to use infused oil that delivers a much stronger high, a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The medical and adolescent mental health experts in New Jersey who reviewed this study say this troubling trend must be combated by a clear message taught in schools and inscribed on packaging labels that em that emphasizes how marijuana harms the developing brain marijuana possession up to six ounces is legal in new jersey for adults 21 and older no dispensaries are open yet for anyone other than patients registered with the state medicinal marijuana program in quotes they're saying i am concerned that this evidence already that the horse is out of the barn with adolescent cannabis use and we adults have provided the methods the means and the message to teens to go riding the horse into the sunset well our eagerness to legalize cannabis for adults for whatever reasons has blinded us to the potential impact on vulnerable populations of adolescents and young adults. I believe at this time there is only one solution. Everyone everywhere nationally must give the same message with accurate information. An adolescent brain is not the same as an adult brain, and cannabis in an adolescent brain can be very dangerous. But this was Know Your Cannabis. What do you guys think about what I have delivered today? Leave those comments down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to make gravity bong with household items. So for one, you're going to need a bowl, 14 or 18 millimeter. Then you're going to need a water bottle. You're going to chop the bottom off. Then you're going to need a gallon bottle. And just as you see here, you're going to chop the top off. Most important to make this work, you'll need some flour. So, I'm going to put it all together, show you how it works, stick around. Depending on how much volume you want, you can decide, I'm going to do about halfway. not perfect, but it'll have to do for today's episode. Next up, 
going to get rid of the lid because you won't need it anymore. See how that works? Let's load it up with some flour. Roll is filled with water. Let's demonstrate how this is supposed to work. And there you have it folks, that's how you make a gravity bong. Super simple, you can get it done right away. Most important thing is the bud and the bowl. Without those two, you really don't have anything. I hope you enjoyed today's show and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.